Welcome to our series on Brian Johnson, the eccentric multimillionaire who wants to defy the aging process and live 120 years. In his ambitious blueprint project, he spends a staggering $2 million annually to undergo supervision with 30 doctors and different medical procedures that rejuvenate him. In today's video, we'll talk about one of the three key pillars of Johnson's daily routine, the Green Giant. And to completely immerse myself in Brian's world, the first step will be painting my fingernails, just as he does. Just kidding, guys. The ingredients of the Green Giant are 20 ounces of water, two tablespoons of chlorella powder, 2.6 grams of amino acid complex, two and a half grams of creatine, 20 grams of collagen peptides, cinnamon, and cocoa. Let's dissect the ingredients. Chlorella is a freshwater algae. Some people might be familiar with spirulina, which is another kind of algae. The nutritional value per 100 grams are... When taking two tablespoons of chlorella, you get about a third of those nutritional values. As Brian follows a vegan diet and consequently lacks vitamin B12, chlorella serves as an excellent source for it. Chlorella is also recognized as an antioxidant. The idea is that harmful substances called free radicals form after activities like cigarette smoking, sunlight exposure and air pollution. These free radicals can damage our DNA, leading to various diseases such as atherosclerosis and even cancer. Theoretically, antioxidants play a protective role in this process. While there are hundreds of different antioxidants, the most commonly known ones include vitamin A, C, E, selenium and glutathione. Although consuming fruits and vegetables rich in antioxidants is a proven pillar of a healthy life, the use of antioxidant supplements hasn't been shown to be beneficial. As the antioxidants in chlorella are plant-derived, they may be beneficial for you. However, this doesn't mean that chlorella possesses unique properties that other fruits and vegetables lack. Since I'm not a vegan or a vegetarian, I don't require chlorella as a vitamin B12 supplement. However, I might still experience benefits from its antioxidative effects. What surprises me is that Brian additionally takes a vitamin B12 supplement once a week. I guess his blood work showed some deficiencies even after taking chlorella. Spermidin, a component of chlorella, is believed to activate autophagy, a process that removes accumulated toxins. However, the challenge with spermidin supplementation is that, according to current studies, taking it doesn't raise spermidin levels in the bloodstream. Therefore, I don't think taking extra spermidin has a benefit for anybody. I would really like to know, based on which principles and studies, Brian's doctors added spermidin to a supplement stack. Call me Brian. Take me on your team. I'm gonna make you a good prize. The main reason Brian takes the amino acid complex is that obtaining sufficient protein on a vegan diet can be challenging. I don't see a problem with this supplement. Next up, creatine. What a fantastic supplement. I've been taking it for a couple of months now. Creatine is a naturally occurring compound in the body that plays a crucial role in energy production during high intensity activities such as weightlifting and sprinting. Supplementing with creatine enhances athletic performance, increases strength and muscle mass. Creatine also offers cognitive benefits, especially in elderly, and is perfectly safe to take. Collagen, a very interesting compound. It's crucial to take collagen peptides, not just collagen, to fully experience the benefits for skin health. Collagen peptides enhance skin elasticity, reduce wrinkles and overall mitigate aging of the skin. There are good studies examining these effects and I will include them in the description. Additionally, collagen is very safe. What surprises me, however, is that Brian deviates from his vegan lifestyle by incorporating a collagen supplement, which evidently is sourced from bovine origins. Quite an unexpected twist. I wonder what else I can dig up. Cocoa flavanols. It is pronounced cocoa, Michael. Cocoa. Cocoa. Not cocoa. Cocoa flavanols, as I just learned. 
The theory behind it is that it serves as an antioxidant, potentially affecting cardiovascular health and blood pressure. However, the evidence comes from smaller studies with issues in study design, so I'm not really convinced about it. Cinnamon. Based on my readings, there's limited evidence that it may slightly affect your blood sugar levels in type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Also, it may lower your cholesterol levels. However, I remain very unconvinced about this evidence. All right, let's put these ingredients together and taste this bad boy. Better than expected. After drinking the Green Giant every day for a week, here are my thoughts. First, I continue taking the collagen, creatine and chlorella as there's solid evidence supporting the benefits. For the rest of the ingredients, I see no use. The first few days drinking the Green Giant, I felt an energy boost, which plateaued towards the end of the week. I suspect it might be due to additional vitamin B12 in the Corella or just a placebo effect. Second, these supplements vary in price and quality. I used to get my Corella from China and despite our reliance on tech from China, I prefer my supplements from local sources. This is obviously pricier. I used to pay $20 for 500 grams, now I pay almost 60. But I believe my health is worth the additional investment. In the next video, we talk about the super veggie, so stay tuned. Dang, I forgot to mention that drinking the green giant might turn the poo green. Don't worry, they'll find out themselves. <laughs>